Question, if you're not a runner, are you still allowed to wear the Keanos? Of course you can. the intro. What's good everyone on YouTube? It's me again, back with another video. And I know I've sort of disappeared, you know, before the last video for a while, uh, but just trying to get back into the routine of things. And what better way to start off than with uh, one of my favorite off the beaten path uh, brands, ASICS. And for this particular shoe, this is actually a retro of an old running silhouette from, I think it's now over 10 years that this shoe came out. Um, I'll put the exact date. Um, and they decided to retro this shoe with uh, pretty unique colorways. And I've heard that uh, Kiko Kostadinov was sort of responsible with um, not necessarily designing, but maybe just adding certain details in the colorways of this shoe. I'm not exactly sure the marketing and like the information about the shoe has been kind of hard to find. Um, but nonetheless, this colorway I think is super hot fire. So uh, that kind of gave away my opinions already. But We'll just get into it. So today we'll be talking about the ASICS uh, UB1S Gel Keanu 14 in the uh, grey colorway. They label it grey, but it kind of looks like pistachio, but we'll get into it. So with the intro out of the way, let's get into the box. So for this particular release, it's not any of the standard like blue sportswear boxes. We've got this like raw cardboard box with the ASICS logo at the top, and this like sort of silver line that runs across here with these um, di um, zigzags. And um, aside from that, there really isn't much more details about this box. Once you open it, you've got pretty standard packing paper, and then the shoes are stuffed with uh, pretty standard uh, paper as well. So in terms of packaging, not much to it. Um, I'm not exactly sure what this design language is supposed to represent, but there you go. And we move to the side, it reads, UB UB1S Gel Keanu 14. If anyone knows what the UB1S stands for, uh, please let me know down in the comments because I haven't actually been able to find any information about this. So, the retail price on these. In Australia, these retail for a price of 260 Australian dollars, I'm pretty sure. I didn't pay this. Um, I actually ended up getting these on discount. So I think in total I ended up paying about 208 Australian dollars. I'll find the exact figure and put the conversion here. And yeah, for 208 uh, on release, I think that's pretty good. Um, there is a likelihood it might go on sale, um, but I was happy to pay the 208 right off the bat. So with the intro, uh, with the box out of the way, let's get into the shoes. And here we are. The gel Keanu 14 in the grey colorway. I really don't, can't remember the UB1S on the end of it. So the easiest way to describe this is, um, this honestly is just the gel Keanu 14. Um, if you've ever seen that shoe before, it's, uh, it's a, it was at the time one of uh, ASIC's um, flagship running shoes. So it's got the very signature like multi-layered upper. But um, instead of the usual like garish kind of like bright colors or like the standard white and blue that ASICS is known for, this colorway is um, really sort of like toned down and actually quite classy in my opinion. You've got a nice mixture of whites, grays, uh, this almost like was a pistachio green color. Um, I just think the colorway goes really well with this shoe. And a small detail that I don't think was present on the original pair and it's sort of a really subtle detail. On the mesh itself, it seems like that interwoven with the mesh, it almost seems like there's like a chicken wire kind of plastic layer over it. So it's very visible on the black um, tongue where you can see this like additional sort of like chain link uh, fence looking thing on top. And I think it just adds a really nice sort of uh, detail to the shoe. Um, one detail that was mentioned in articles and something I noticed uh, when getting this shoe is um, We've got, an, uh, we've got an extended pull tab on the tongue of the shoe and the pull tab actually sort of goes out and then hooks to the outside of the shoe and um, it's fine, um, it doesn't really do much for me, it's just a detail that's there but I'm not that mad or not that um, happy about it, it's just there. And um, another thing to mention about this shoe is um, the mesh that they've used, or at least like some of the lining that they've used on the tongue and the inside, almost has this like brushed metal kind of look to it. So when you look closely, it's got these nice sort of like horizontal lines. 
and this carries from the tongue to the sock liner to even the insole itself which has a stitched on ASICS branding which I think looks really nice. And then on the side we've got the gel can of 14 written so that's uh, pretty standard. And then moving down to the midsole, it's really just unchanged. This is very much the signature sort of Kayano midsole of the time. So you've got these two units at the front of gel, as well as a really large sort of um, outer heel unit of gel. And then on the instep, it's more of just this uh, grey or like uh, pistachio green um, foam. And then moving to the outsole, it's pretty much a standard sort of a running outsole. There's not much I would say to, about it with a sort of hard plastic shank in the middle of the foot. So that pretty much covers the main features of this particular shoe. Um, in terms of sizing, I would say that these probably fit um, true to size. Um, I only had the chance to either get a size 9 or a size 10 and I opted for the size 10 and it's the tiniest bit roomy for my liking but, you know, workable for me. So if I had a chance, I'd probably just buy the 9.5, so my recommendation would be to go true to size in this shoe. So I'm usually a 9.5 in most of my sneakers, I bought these in a US 10, they're slightly big but definitely workable, so that's my thing, that's my opinion on sizing. Now, in terms of comfort, despite the fact that this is um, uh, over a decade old in terms of like running shoe technology, um, it's still actually quite a comfortable shoe. Um, the insole itself is quite nice. I do feel this outer gel quite nicely. And the foam that they use is firm, but, um, you know, supportive enough for you just day-to-day -day walking. Um, the upper itself, um, this is very much like a, more like a form over function thing. Yes, the mesh breathes quite nicely, but all the, um, overlays don't really do much. If anything, they get in the way. So overall, I would just say for an old running shoe, it feels about what you would expect. Um, but to be honest, um, ASICS isn't bringing this out for runners again. And that's where I get into my opinions on this shoe. And I do have a very interesting story to talk about where um, I talked to an ASICS employee almost a year ago from like this video. And she was telling me about how ASICS is actually taking notice about their old running silhouettes that people are wearing for lifestyle and if anyone's part of like any of these ASICS groups um there's a facebook page called ASICS Run AU where it's specifically dedicated to old retro running shoes um not necessarily like the gel light threes or the fives but like Kayano's, Nimbus, um even the gel quantums and um I think ASICS um what she was saying was ASICS is starting to take notice of these things and are starting to look to retro some of their old archive running shoes and um, this is pretty much, you know, a year later they've actually gone ahead and done it but they also sort of hinted to it earlier with the Gel Kinzes which they retroed not too long ago and I really do think um, what this just shows to me and I've said it in many videos before ASICS really has fire silhouettes with the worst colorways possible. Um, if you look at some of the original um, Kano 14s, they're either inoffensive whites with like accent colors, or they're super garish, like bright colored um, neon shoes that you wouldn't wear unless you were just running in them. Um, but this lifestyle colorway with this sort of gray and white and muted color just goes so well on the silhouette and really shows off um, the panels and really kind of you know, elevates this chunky sort of shoe to something that's almost like a fashion icon. And for that, I'm kind of glad that this has come out, but I'm really sort of hopeful to see what other um, retro silhouettes they decide to pull out. Um, for me, personally, I don't know if anyone from ASICS is listening, if you can retro the Keanu 15 um, at any point, please let me know because that's the shoe I used to have as a child and I really am nostalgic towards it. We're one number off, but... I'll, I'll be, I'll, 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 I'll hold my breath for that one. But as for this shoe, I love the colorway. It's comfortable. It looks great. It's a nice sort of dad chunky shoe. And it's, it's good. And with that, we've come to the end of another video. So I'd like to hear what your opinions about this, um, I'm just gonna read it, UB1S Gel Keanu 14. And out of the four colorways, which one was your favorite? Um, I'm just gonna put it straight up. This is my favorite, and all the other three are like the same level of I don't like it. So that's my opinion, but I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. 
So like, comment, subscribe, leave a comment in the comment section down below. And if you're into more sort of dance, vlogs, um, shoes, that sort of thing, consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, time for the on feet, and I'll catch you guys in another video. Yeah, man. Bring it back the Cano 14. Bring the 15, please.